I have this word up here. Does anybody know? Can anybody read this yet? Let's do our letters. What is this letter? A L I S T. Letter of the week. Very super proud of you. This word spells listen. So you're going to have to be very quiet and use your listening ears to hear this. Got it? Are you ready? Yeah. When you hear the noise of the animal, you can tell me what you hear. Are you ready? Are your ears turned on? Here we go. Horse. That is a horse. Rooster. Good job. Not a pig. A dog. A cat. A cat. Have two more. A pig. And the last one. A sheep, that's right. I was testing your listening because our Bible lesson this week is about John the Baptist. And he was a messenger, right, guys? And people had to listen. People had to listen to him because he had a message. They needed to have their listening ears on. John the Baptist was a prophet. And a prophet is somebody that goes and tells others all about God and Jesus. What are the letters here, guys? P-R-O-P-E-T, -E prophet. That's somebody that goes and tells others all about God and Jesus because God talks to them. And he was talking to... Isaiah. Here's the prophet Isaiah. Say hi Isaiah. hi, Isaiah. And Isaiah was talking about somebody that was going to come along, not quite Jesus yet, but he was going to be a baby born to Elizabeth. This is Elizabeth, and this is Zechariah, and this was baby John, John the Baptist, okay? And that's his mom and dad. Can you say Zechariah? Zechariah. And Elizabeth. Elizabeth. They were the mommy and daddy of John the Baptist. And when John grew up, he went around telling everybody he was the messenger he was telling everybody about God and Jesus, and there was somebody coming to come along who was Jesus. John, here he is. Say hi, John. Hi, John. What, did like John. what did he like to eat, guys? Honey. Honey and what else? And locusts. Honey and locusts, right? And what did he like to wear? Yeah. Camel hair. He wore clothes of camel hair. What held up, what held up his camel hair? What his a big wide belt? That's right. Would you want to eat locusts and can and wear can? That'd be kind of scratchy, wouldn't it? But he was kind of an unusual man that liked to do this, and he lived in the wilderness. He lived in the wilderness. Yep, and he went around talking to all the people about the one that was coming, and that was Jesus. And when Jesus came along, he saw them at the river, the Jordan River. I mean, the Jordan River. And he saw John the Baptist with all of these people. Let me get John back over here. He's got to do his job. Where did he go? Here he is. Thank you. And he was at the Jordan River. Oops. And he was baptizing. What did we say baptizing was? What does that do? Does it wash away? It washes away what? It does wash away our sins, right? And in the Jordan River, he would take the people. Sam, can I borrow you for a second? No. No, Lily, can I borrow you for a second? Stand up here. Come here. 
he would take the people in the water and he would have them hold their nose sometimes, hold your nose, and he would dip them back into the water. And when they came up, their sins were washed away. And that's what baptism was. Thank you, Lily. Go sit right there. And then Jesus came along and he said to John, I want you to baptize me. And John said, I can't do that. You do not have any sin. Did Jesus have any sin? No, No, he never did anything wrong. And Jesus said that you have to do that. And guess what? He did do that. He baptized Jesus in the Jordan River. And then the skies opened up and there was a loud voice that came out. And that was God's voice because he saw what was happening. And God said, you are my faithful son who I am very pleased. And everybody heard God's voice. And that's who John the Baptist was. And that's what baptism is all about. Can we pray about that? All right, guys. Dear God, we are thankful for your son, Jesus, and John the Baptist, and for washing away our sins. Lord, teach us how to make good choices. And we give you all praise and honor and glory. And all of God's children said, Amen. Amen.